Welcome to our YouTube channel titled VCB Vinyl City Broadcasting, your transit express to rock and roll trivia. I'm Marie, the host of VCB. As you can see from our header, the VCB team is about ready to hit the road for 2017 in Rico's classic 67 GS California. There were only about 1,500 made just for California. And it's my job to take care of that baby. We wanted to give everyone an update, schedule, or outline of some of the interviews and events we'll be involved with in the first part of 2017. Now, I'll meet you all down in the VCB studio shortly. I just need to pick up our used neon clock for the studio that we originally bought 22 years ago. It's really cool. Rico says he needs some neon back in his life now. Maybe it's a nostalgia thing. Cool. This is Times Square, 42nd Street. Grassburg is available to you know, someone asked me for the time. You know, Rico, you just can't get me on clocks like this one anymore. After so many years, I'm glad we found John, our neon guy, to get it glowing again. Thanks for putting it up for me. I just love the pink glow. It's time to start the show now, Marie. Let's look at our VCB calendar or schedule for the first few months of 2017. The group's guests might not run in the order that I'm going to present them to you. But here's what we have so far, and the list will grow. We thought we'd mix it up a bit this year, and not only interview doo-wop legends, but also include related venues that are related to our rock and roll theme. First of all, the Morrison Hotel Gallery. If you haven't been there yet, you need to go. There are three locations to choose from, New York, LA, and Hawaii. Morrison Hotel Gallery is a world leader in fine art music photography, representing over a hundred of the most highly acclaimed music photographers and their clients. One of the owners of the gallery and a friend of ours, Richard Horowitz, will tell you the history behind the gallery and especially the iconic photograph of the doors in front of the original Morrison Hotel that's on their website. Do you know where that photograph was taken? This rock and roll photographic gallery brings to light unseen archives, drawing from a vast and growing catalog of jazz, blues, and rock genres dating back to the 1940s and up to today's contemporary artists. Don't miss this show. And we're going to try and see if we can also get one of Richard's partners, the legendary music photographer Henry Diltz, to appear. Now here's a couple of the pics of the gallery of Richard, Henry, and the beautiful Patty Boyd.
Next, LAR Enterprises. We will be interviewing Rob Albanese, the promoter who is presenting a doo -op concert at the Cerritos Performing Arts Center on Saturday, January 14th, and we will be attending this concert. Rob will also be giving us a recap of the show that evening and what he has in store for 2017. Now here's a lineup of that show. The Teenagers, Gary Troxell and the Fleetwoods, Jimmy Charles, The Dubs, Brian Highland, The Olympics, and The Dukes of doo -op. Did you order your tickets yet? What are you waiting for? We've also locked in interviews with two of the groups that night, including Gary Troxell of the Fleetwoods and Jimmy Charles. Is there anyone that doesn't have Come Softly to Me or Mr. Blue embedded in the soundtrack of their mind or on their Seaberg jukebox? I didn't think so. Gary will talk about his career and Dan will get to interview one of his favorite performers. Gary also has a couple of classic cars just like Rico. Loud mufflers, the smell of gasoline, and rock and roll. Doesn't get much better than that, does it? Now here's a couple picks and a little snippet of one of their classic songs. Dum 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 do dum do be do 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 Jimmy Charles of a million to one fame. Jimmy will tell us about his signature song, A Million to One and how it became a classic and received worldwide acclaim. Now here's a couple pics of Jimmy and a little snippet of A Million to One. A million to one That's what our folks think about Also, other groups we'll be interviewing, but not at the show that evening, are J.T. Carter, one of the original and founding members of The Crest, E.A. Kroll from E.A. Kroll Productions, who handles public relations for J.T. Carter, says he'll look into setting up a video broadcast interview with J.T. himself so we can keep those 16 candles burning. Here's a couple pics of the crest and a little snippet of 16 candles. possibility we'll be doing another video broadcast with Larry Chance of the Earls. Have you ever been back on the streets of the Bronx? That's where Larry is from and I'm sure he has some Bronx tales he wants to share with us. Don't miss this one. Also, one of our favorite New York doo-wop songs, Back on the Streets of the Bronx which was used in the movie, A Bronx Tale. So we'll take you back to the neighborhood. Were you there? Now here's a couple pics of the Earls and a little snippet of Back on the Streets of the Bronx. Love this. Wap, wap, shoo wap, wap. On the streets of the Bronx is where I want to be Standing on the corner singing good old harmony Waiting for the man 
and to come along and discover Warren to Sorrow. Another Brooklynite, folks. They say a lot of good groups come out of Brooklyn, and Warren is one of them. Warren worked at Colony Records for 25 years. He sang with Norman Fox and the Rob Roys, The Five Discs, Larkings, and many other doo-wop groups. If you want to hear him sing, he'll probably be singing on one of the street corners in New York. Warren is working on a jingle for Vinyl City Broadcasting. That would be pretty cool for our show. Now here's a couple of pics of Warren and a little snippet of one of his songs. Ooh, oh, 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 why do you have to go? Next, the Grammy Hall of Fame Museum. The VCB team and others will be traveling to LA to the Grammy Museum in early spring. They're featuring an exhibition on Smokey Robinson and the Miracles. We'll be putting together a slide presentation of our visit, and one of our new contributors to VCB, Bill Gordon, one of the original singers of the Royals, will be doing us the honors and hosting the show for me. We might have to stop at Langer's Deli for a hot pastrami before we leave LA. Have you been there? Here's a pic of the museum and Bill. Maybe you remember him when he sang with the Royals. Good. Mike Zaccaro and Jimmy James. The Z-Man, as he is known in some circles, was a fixture radio personality on a doo-wop radio station here in San Diego called The Sock Hop. Mike did the show for many years until it went off the air. It was about a year ago. Mike will be filling in for me as host of VCB, and he'll give you the scoop about the radio biz and his thoughts on doo -wop. Mike will be interviewing Jimmy James, a true rock and roll historian who used to sing with a group called the Aladdins. Now here's a couple of pics of the Z-Man. We really do miss the sock hop. Mike did a great job. And to have him host a VCB show will be special. At 9 o'clock in San Diego, you are listening to KCBQ AM 1170. The answer, I am Mike Zuccaro, and the Saturday Night Sock Hop is in session. Go. We're going to end our lineup of guests for the first part of 2017 with a friend of ours, Abraham Santiago. Abe was a vocal group member of The Concepts during the 1960s a cappella era. His career has evolved around this genre of music and he is now an author and film documentarian. Here's just a sampling of some of his book covers and documentary. Do you want to put those on the screen, Rico? Good. I should get my head examined, scooty wop up, doody wop up, um, 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 on 42nd Street in the heart of Times Square. Back when the sun would
everyone needs to get on board our Transit Express to Rock and Roll Trivia. We need to get out of here, Rico. But before we do, could we bring the neon clock home with us tonight? I like to see what it looks like on the living room wall. Remember, 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 remember,